Welcome everybody to this new video to Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started and to creating an actual free, easy to use platform of a new section of Blogger, which in this case is creating a portfolio. So whether you are a photographer, designer, uh, an artist looking to showcase your work, creating a portfolio here, I'm going to show you how to do this. First of all, you need to sign into Blogger. Directly here into Blogger is going to be really easy by having an actual Gmail account. So you might be seeing that we have an actual post. So to get started here, what I need to do is to create a new blog. So to create a portfolio in Blogger, you will need to create a new blog. So click into this section and you can see that we have different blocks and sections. So I'm going to go for create new blog. And here, as you can see, choose a title that reflects your portfolio and select the URL that is easy to remember and relevant to your work. So let's say, for example, that I go for um, wedding band. This is just the wedding band. And I go for next. And here into the address, let's go for wedding band. Of course, uh, the availability is not going to be available yet, but I can go for... Now, here's the part when I can choose an actual template. So here, as you can see, after creating a blog, you need to choose a theme. So Blogger offers a variety of free and customizable themes to choose from. I'm going to focus into the availability options and select the theme section. And I can choose whatever I would like to. So for example, I do have the elements, I have the Soho, I have the Emporio, I have the Notable, I have Essential, I have Simple, and I can choose much more. So choose the one that best resonates with your kind of work. And then once you focus into something that you kind of like, what you can do is to choose it and customize it. Let's go and scroll a little bit up and choose this template. I'm going to go for something like this. And here I choose the option that says customize. So once you choose a theme, you can customize this by, of course, uh, changing these main color theme. So I can select another color. I can choose the advanced color and I can choose a title fund. The title fund is different, the title color, the action fund, the text fund, and much more elements. Once you've filled all of this information, what you can do now is to focus into your template. And then later on, what you can do, for example, I remove this image, I go for changed image. Now what I'm going to do is to save the changes and go back so I can create pages for my portfolio. So to create pages into the portfolio, let's focus directly into the upper side and go for new post. Here in the new post, what I can do is to start by creating separate pages from different categories or projects with my portfolio, such as the photography, graphic design, or illustration. So in this case, what I need to do is just to add a little bit me, uh, uh, more about, let's say, about us section. So add content to the pages. Once you have created your pages, it's time to add content to them. Click into the edit button to edit the pages and open the page editor. So I'm going to just add something really easy. Of course, this is just the same text, but I just wanted to show you how it actually looks the pages. So to organize your portfolio, you can organize it by arranging your pages in a logical order. You can do this by just clicked and drag and drop elements and of course get into managed. So uh, you can delete those if you wanted to or just focus here into the pages. I create my new page here into my new page. I'm going to go for about us. I hit now into published and here as you can see this page what we can do is to add those directly into my site so I can hit into view my blog so I can see how it actually looks and as you can see we have something easy so I have this new section where it says business profile down here I have the first blog that I have just created and here I have the latest post so so far it actually looks great if you wanted to edit much more elements, I'm going to focus into the layout. Directly here into the layout, what you can do is to change the sidebar. You can change the search, the header, the page list, much more elements, so you can change all of those elements. And lastly, the settings. So you can change the title, the description, the language, if this is an old content, uh, Google Analytics, if Fabican, publishing, and so much more. So once you've finished all of those elements, what you can do is to save this, and then you're actually good to go. So guys, with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. Hopefully this was a very useful information for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you wanted to do much more stuff here into Blogger. Thank you once again for watching this video. Hopefully we can all see you next time.